episode 173 that's episode 173 of the ignite your purpose podcast we talk longevity through a healthy lifestyle a mix of the mental the physical and some spiritual knowledge mind body soul trifecta i'll introduce my buddy max just in a moment but today we are going to talk about the idea that we are all pleasure seeking animals it's this inbuilt driver from way back in the day when the first part of our brain and where it is the first part of our brains get formed the kind of autonomic the automatic uh, processes and that we are always seeking out things that will bring us and that is uh, I'm going to let Max talk about this for a second. I'll try and get my thoughts, and then we'll bring some at a uh, value, we hope. Max. So, Johnny Boy over there, he's, 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 uh, he's had a hell of a day. We were having a chin wag, and uh, we'll let John get into it if he wants to, but the chin wag was going pretty good, I think. Um, and I think John wanted to hear specific words out of my mouth, which... I don't think came out, um, but <laughs> but the funny thing is we're, we were absolutely both on the same page the whole time. When we came back around to it in a long form way, we, we, we think the same, we want the same, we want to talk, we want to do this and all that with this certain person in mind. But at the start of it, I actually didn't say what he thought I should say maybe or wanted to hear from me um and i'm not the most eloquent or well-spoken gentleman out there as most you probably know yeah. but the funny thing being is he had my support 110 percent as far as recommending uh wanting him to follow through and not just for him in a selfish way for us both on my end um and i think we what we're getting at here is that we're always searching right we always have that antenna up that's either searching for positive reinforcement and yeah. that pat on the back which for some reason that word's evading me right now um yeah i think i think the word you might be looking for is that a kind of it's um uh, confirmation bias confirmation that what you're saying you think it's right you've, you've you're pretty certain it's right and you, what you want is those people around you to agree with you um and if the if your your friends and colleagues or anybody really is agreeing with you, then then that's confirmation, and that kind of builds your your status and your self belief, which is a good thing, which moves you towards the good, the pleasure, the dopamine hit. Now, Max and I were having this conversation, and I was saying something. He was hearing exactly what i was saying although i was not being clear and concise uh, at all but the words that were coming back at me were black and white they, they were and i thought oh, i've got a bit of a conflict here now whether that's because i've got because I, I might have needed specific words coming back at me so i was moving the opposite direction from where i wanted to be i was uh, moving away from a threat or a response. Uh, it, it wasn't where I needed it to be. So we then put the phone down or put the internet off. And uh, about 30 seconds later, I Wait called. A sec. Sorry, we did go some on. Jumping jacks. We did some jumping jacks. Yeah. <laughs> we said, uh, we said, right, I'm going to take five, do some jumping jacks and, uh, and kind of get all the freaking bullshit out of the way i called him back and i said i was needing to hear and i, and I realized it was something going on, going on in my head i needed to hear certain words and i wasn't hearing them so i took that as a threat to my level of of status or my level of certainty that where uh, the conversation was going is he questioning the conversation um and it was interesting. And then out of the blue, I went, so this is what I was trying to say. I said it clear and concise. And Max went, yeah, that's what I was hearing the whole time. So we talk ourselves around in circles. And I think um, for me, a takeaway for the people listening is, 
to be very or to, or to try to be more aware of what we're saying to certain people so uh, we we can question people's status very easily and if we're questioning somebody's status that's a negative thing if we're building them up that's a positive thing um and depending on how we do this will depend on whether you're going to get a good response or not whether they're going to be open to what you're saying or whether they're going to shut down in a kind of a, a threat response uh i'm not sure if i've explained it really well but max can you throw any light on this subject for anybody oh i think it's beautiful because you know, you and I had this conversation today, but in any given day, any of the listeners will be hearing this, you know, you'll be having these conversations morning, noon, and night, kids, daughters, sons, mothers, coworkers, teachers, principals. This is, this is how humans communicate. So I can only take responsibility for what I come out of my, what comes out of my mouth. I cannot take the responsibility for what somebody else is hearing. Right. Yeah. Having said that, I think back to, to when John and I had that conversation and I think maybe I, I fast forwarded through a lot of the things because I was always, I was already on the same page and I was like, Hey, you know, da, 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 cool. When, so let's go past that and let's skip to this. And I think John might've been like, well, we're, you know, what's this guy talking about? We're, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm here. Why aren't you here with me? And I was like, yeah. cool, but I've, I've bolted down the street, but I didn't, I didn't relay that to him. So Again, it's this communication between people and, um, you know, uh, it, 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 there was no fault. Obviously, it's not John. It's yeah. not me. It's not him. It's not her. Right. But when we're when we're aware of these things and we just said, OK, let's take a, a quick fiver and something's off. Maybe maybe it's not. Maybe this is a poor choice of conversation. We came back and we were, we were absolutely on the same page. Um it just needed to be said a little clearer. So instead of, you know, when we're in an office situation or at school or wherever out for dinner, instead of holding a grudge and being like, Oh, buddy said that, that one time back in 83, that guy's a real prick. Let's just, <laughs> let's just bring it up and, and, yep. and say it for what it is. Right. And, and, and the funny thing is John and I were absolutely 100 on the same page. Yeah. So think, just a miscommunication, but sorry. No, no, go ahead. I think that we, we, we were absolutely on the same page, but I was going through the, the streets and through the back alleys and over the hedges and ch -ch -ch, want to include every little sentence and syllable of, of what I wanted to get across. And you went, yeah, yeah, no, I've just taken a ring road around the other side to exact, the exact same place. Um, and, and, it, and it works in, in loads of different areas. It, if, if you're hearing a conversation and if you think somebody's being really unfair, then you'll that will affect how you feel about that person, whether you think they're a good person or a bad person. Um, and, and it goes on from there. But I'll give you, can I, I'll give you a perfect I'll give you an example from from me today, John. Um, I was at the gym. Yeah, I'm always at the gym, aren't I? And this guy said to me, uh, well, he didn't say it to me. He said it behind my back, but not, not in a derogatory way. He just said, he just, he was standing behind me and I was doing something and he was like, well, you guys should have no problem doing that. You're way stronger than him. <clears throat> and I took, I, I, I kind of took offense to that. And in the, immediately, because we have these receptacles that are always looking for negative. I was like, yeah, yeah. look back at who it was. I was like, dude, I trained Krav Maga. What the f are you talking? I'm saying this in my own head for about three seconds, right? I'm like, I will wipe the floor with all three of these dudes. What's this guy talking about? But yet all he was saying was, you guys' body mass, you should be able to pull this move off because you're stronger than him, which makes complete sense, right? Yeah. But I took it completely wrong for about maybe 5, 10, 15 seconds until I had to check myself. And I'm like, holy jeez, buddy. But it, it is, it's, it's part of our communication factors and how somebody's saying it, how he's receiving it. You know, when John talks, I'm doing this a lot because I'm agreeing with him. If you're not, if you're going like this, okay, you're not agreeing, but it's these little, these little nuances in the human body that Absolutely, start yeah. off all these chain reactions, right? And, and, and Max is a lefter and I'm a writer. I'm very logical, very scientific, very mathematical for whatever reason. Max is a bit lefty and he's a little bit more <laughs> floaty, goatee, whatever you want to call it. And 
we're not always going to have these conversations and understand each other completely 100 percent um, and that's where you then pause take a breath control your breathing get the oxygen to where it needs to be going which is uh, the brain and when we breathe through this it doesn't get up there very well and when we breathe through this it does the diaphragmatic belly breathing um and if you don't understand or you think you've misheard it just you don't have to put your hand up we're not in school but you know, put, put your hand up and say, oh, excuse me, could you just explain that in a slightly different way? Um, but certainly, the how you how you behave has a massive impact on people, and that's your verbal and non-verbal. If you walk into a room and uh, we, we spoke about these mirror neurons a couple of days ago, if you walk into a room and slam the door behind you, before you've even said a word, people have gone. Whoosh. Somebody, somebody might be in a mood, somebody may not be uh, in the happiest of places this morning, whereas if you bounce in, wave as you walk through the door, it sets off, you know, people pick up your vibrations through the mirror neurons up here and they immediately drift to uh, your, your level of being. So uh, that's a bit of a long ramble about Max and I had a, a difficult conversation today, but we're still mates, we're still friends and we'll be all right. <laughs> and like you said the fun the, you know funny thing for those who don't know but you know it, it the support is there like because i like i said earlier it's a selfish thing but i know it's going to benefit john having this chain right as well as me right so mm. it's it, it can do nothing but good i mean maybe it could go wrong but you know it could do nothing but good for both of us so it's yeah. you know water under the bridge but it's a beautiful thing because conversation is so so at the base of everything, right? Even if, you know, if in a sense you, you throw in a but or an and, somebody might take that like, but he's stronger than you. And you're going, yeah. huh? Is that is that derogatory towards me? And all this bull crap, right? So. The, the, the other interesting um, element of this conversation is if, if we have just stopped after having, we weren't arguing, we weren't fighting. We just, all right, I'm sorry, Max was understanding perfectly, but I wasn't understanding. And if we'd have said, do you know what? I can't really think of a subject for tonight's conversation. Let's leave it. Let's leave it till tomorrow. And we hadn't kind of worked it through, if that's the right phrase. 100%. I might have gone to bed thinking, shit, is, is, is Max cool? Are we on the same song sheet? Are we still going to the same place? Because of these cognitive biases that we, we, we learn from, from 0 to 6, 0 to 7, however you want to sort of talk about that. Um, you, know, you pick up all these negatives rather than all the positives uh, but we didn't, we stopped we did some jumping jacks um, called each other right back and now we're, we're right back on track uh, for where we want to be for the show and, and uh, think about think about that John it goes with, think about marriages think about son, daughters, when you get into your teens with your parents um, it's easier to turn your back and slam the door. For both of us, we could have been like, I could have been like, well, that was weird. And John could have been like, well, that was really weird. And yeah, let's not do the show tonight. We'll talk tomorrow. And then tomorrow probably would have been weird. And, and yeah. instead, we just worked it out. And it, 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 it wasn't hard, but it's again what we talked about, even with those neurons, right? We got to shine the light on these places that some people, none yeah. of us, we don't like shining the light there, right? And, and and we've got to go to these these uglier places that the, the harder conversations. When I was in Canada, was that was that a month ago? My God, we woke up on the last day or second last day, and we still had one part of the course to make that we we'd not finished. And um, Max just could not work out and could not see how we were going to pull this thing together. And so he woke me up in, a, in his kind of left brain, really kind of thinking really hard about it. And I thought, shit, Max is in a mood this morning. And the energy was was kind of not the same. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we pulled it around, but it was from one minute to the next, you went, oh, yeah, I've got it now. I've worked it out now. Uh, and then yeah, we I drove, remember that. The I, car, drove I, down the park, we're down to the river, smashed out this, this, this last uh, element of the course. And... Yeah, it was, it was a bit weird. And it was, it was funny for me because I remember, not funny, sorry, just part of the way my brain works. I I was almost um, nattering at John, like, keep talking, dude, keep talking. He was like, no, no, I don't want to argue. 
But I was like, we're not arguing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it. Keep talking. And I was forcing him to talk. I had my eyes closed. I remember I was, I was something like this. And I was trying to visualize what the hell he was saying. And then he finished and I was like, beautiful. That's it. Let's go. Right. So yeah. it is, it's, it's, it, it's getting to know each other. It's, it's, it's so many things, but just different ways of understanding. Right. And John had it just like, just like today's conversation. He had it 20 years ago and I was, you know, taking the long, long road around. Right. But is what it is we get there but it is showing and it shows growth like both of us we could have packed the bags but but it it, it grows both of us to the humans we're meant to be right so that's yeah. a huge thing yeah and, uh, and that, that was no different to tonight but just the opposite way around and by diving into these difficult conversations and making yourself do the work instead of just pushing a button and expecting that instant answer the gratification is just so much better and it will just lift you to a new, uh, a new level each and every time. Um, I think we've probably spoken for about long enough now. Uh, we'd normally say this thing about subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to put that to one side for now. But if you do want to subscribe and like, that's mega. <laughs> but the podcast seems to be kicking off right now. If you could write us uh, an iTunes review, if you could share the, the podcast or an episode on iTunes, that would be uh, incredible. It's, it's how we grow. It's how we share this message with as many people as possible. Um, just like you've, you've tuned in, hopefully, to the end, and you, you've got a takeaway from this. We'd like to uh, get to and, and touch as many people as possible. Uh, so we thank you for... Uh, your time and watching and listening and if you can give us a review then uh, we are eternally grateful this is true and people my last thing will be this hard work pays off not only for yourself but it's going to make your relationship grow right with with whatever if it's your wife your husband your boss your employees your wife your daughter your son whatever uh john and i just took another level up not that we needed to, but it's just, it's just, you just grow together and you evolve together. And we're talking always that mind, body, soul trifecta. So we just yep. grew in ways we probably don't even understand right now, which is awesome. So we wish that upon you guys as well. Okay. Thank you. Good night. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.